Hello everyone. Welcome to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Today's topic is randomization methods. Let's understand all the randomization methods one by one. The first method is randomize. What does this method do? It will randomize all the random variables. Which are the random variables? The variables which we declared using the keywords like rand and randc. All these variables are going to be randomized when you call randomize function. What is the syntax to call this function? Whatever is your class object, the name of that object, then dot randomize. Once you call this function, whatever variables inside this class object are declared as rand and rand c, they will be randomized. What value does randomize return? It returns 1 if it's a success, means when randomize function is able to assign random values to all the random variables, it returns 1, it returns 0, otherwise. The second function is pre-randomize. This per function can perform any operation just before calling randomize. And it is called by default. You don't need to specifically call this. Whenever you call randomize, before randomize, pre-randomize is called by default. And whatever operation you want to perform before calling randomize function, you can perform that operation. It can be overridden. By default, it has some function declared. But say, for example, you want to do something else. Then you can override this function. If you don't override, then whatever is the default set inside the system Verilog pre-randomized function, that is taken. What kind of tasks do we perform with pre-randomize? Some examples I am giving you. There are a lot of tasks which we can perform. But just for your understanding, what can be the operations you want to do before randomizing? The first operation is switch randomization mode for va random variables. By default, whatever variables you declared as random using keywords rand and randc, all of those are randomized. Now, say for example, in my test case, there are certain variables which I don't want to randomize. So, for those, I want to switch off the randomization. Such kind of things we can do with the help of pre-randomize function. The second thing is set some preconditions. If I want to set certain limits for certain variables or say I want to calculate some CRC errors before I randomize so that I generate the interesting scenarios, all such things are called as preconditions which can be performed using pre-randomize. The next function is post-randomize. Post means after randomize this will be called. This function will perform any operation just after calling randomize. This is also called by default. Whenever you call randomize, after randomize, post-randomize is called by default. It can also be overridden. What are the tasks which we, we can perform with post-randomize? There are a lot again. I am just giving you some simple example to understand. Say after randomization, I want to display the value of random variables. I can do that using post-randomize function. The next function is rand mode. As the name says, it is to control the mode of randomization. Or I can say switch the randomization mode from on to off, off to on, like that. The syntax is variable. Whatever is the variable you want to change the randomization mode, that variable dot rand mode 0 or 1. If you give 1, it is on. If you give 0, it is off. Now let's see a coding example of randomization method. Let's understand this code. I have a class packet in which I have some random variables. What are these random variables? 32-bit address, 64-bit data, which are rand. And then I have one write signal, which is rand C. If 
few remember in the previous lecture we discussed about rand and rand c in case you missed that lecture i'll share the link in description please go through that so that you understand what is rand and rand c rand c means cyclic randomization it means it will cover all possible values for a particular random variable before repeating it this is one bit signal right is one bit signal what are possible values 0 and 1 so say for example the first random value it picked is 1 so the next time it will not repeat 1 it will give 0 1 0 and again 1 0 and so on because it is cyclic randomization so values are repeated only after completing all possible values then i have a bit to store the temporary value of the uh, right signal so this is temp right now let's understand what functions i am using first i am using pre randomize in pre randomize what i want to do my objective is to perform a write and after performing a write i want to read the same address if i want to read the same address see anyways it cyclic randomization your write is cyclic randomization so if if there was a write in the next cycle it's going to be read but i want read from the same address that's why i want to switch off the randomization for address so that i read from the same address where i have written that is why whenever your write what i am storing the value of the previous write in a temporary variable whenever my previous operation was write i am going to switch off the random mode for the address so that address remains same because if the previous operation was write next operation is read and i want to read from the same address that's why i don't want to randomize it and if it was not a write it was a read so in next cycle i want to perform write to some different address so that's why i am again turning on the randomization for address by giving rand mode 1 rand mode is a switch to turn on and off the randomization the next function is post randomize here i am performing some operations first thing is i am saving the value of the previous write so if you see here temp write i am saving the value of the uh, operation write whatever it was there i am saving this value then i am displaying the values of the variables and finally i am creating a object of class packet and i am randomizing this four times so you just understand this example and run it you will see that you will perform write followed by read then write to some other address followed by read to some other address i hope with this different randomization methods like randomize pre randomize post randomize and rand mode are clear to stay tuned to such video lectures please subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel thank you